The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. In 1974, workers in China accidentally discovered an incredible treasure. While they were digging in China's Yellow River Valley, they found hundreds of life-sized painted statues of warriors, horses, and chariots. The treasure they discovered was a 2,000-year-old burial ground. Experts now estimate that when the whole burial ground is excavated, they will uncover an army of more than 6,000 life-sized clay warriors. They have also learned that this amazing army was ordered and produced by Emperor Chin to protect him from the enemy, his enemies after he died. Chin is the same emperor who built the Great Wall of China. If this amazing wall had been built in the United States, it would stretch from New York to California. Chien ordered it built to protect his empire, his empire from invaders. Chien was very afraid of death and spent his last years desperately searching for a fountain of youth. His magicians had told him that this kind of magical fountain existed on an island in a faraway place. Well, of course, Chien never found it. But since the beginning of time, the human heart has resisted the idea that death is the end of life. The human heart has dreamed of eternal life. Some deep down instinct tells us that this life of sorrow, pain, and disappointment is not an end, but is only a beginning. And what the instinct of the human heart tells us is the very thing that Jesus also tells us in today's gospel. He tells tells us that this life is not the end. There really is something more to come. We were made for eternal life. In other places in the gospel, Jesus tells tells us that he himself is the source of eternal life. And he says, This is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. And a few verses later, Jesus says this, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. But our understanding of eternal life doesn't stop here. What the human heart tells us and what Jesus tells us 
Modern science also tells us. When the scientist Ferner von Braun died, Time magazine called him the 20th century Columbus. More than any other scientist on earth, von Braun deserves credit for putting a human being on the moon. Von, Braun, von Braun's career began in Germany. He developed the famous V2 rocket that devastated British cities during World War II. And toward the end of the war, he was even working on a rocket that would reach New York City. Well, as the Russians advanced into Germany, von Braun and his staff escaped to Bavaria, where he surrendered to the Army of the United States. And within months, von Braun was in the United States, where he would eventually launch our space program. Before von Braun died, the talented scientist made a statement that surprised the public. And here's what he said. Many people seem to think that science has somehow made religious ideas untimely or old fashioned. But I think science has a, a real surprise for the skeptics. Science, for instance, tells us that nothing in nature, not even the tiniest, tiniest particle, can disappear without a trace. Nature does not know extinction. All it knows is transformation. And von Braun continues, now if God applied this fundamental principle to the most minute and insignificant parts of our universe, doesn't it make sense to assume that he applied it also to the human soul? I think it does. And everything science has taught me and continues to teach me strengthens my belief in the continuity of our spiritual existence after death. Nothing disappears without a trace. Nature does not know extinction. All it knows is transformation. Nothing disappears without a trace. And so what the human heart has ta always taught us and what Jesus taught, modern science is also now teaching. This, is, this life is not the end of our story. We were made for something more. We were made for eternal life. And this brings up an important question. If God's plan is for us to live forever, what kind of an effect should the reality of eternal life have on our daily lives right now? In other words, if God's plan is for us to live forever, how should this affect the way that we live? How should we live in this world so as to gain eternal life in the next world? St. Paul answers that question by saying that we ought to live our lives in, a way, in the way that Jesus taught us and in the way that Jesus himself lived his life. Putting this into concrete terms, here's what he says. Put to death then the parts, of, the parts of you that are earthly, immorality and evil desire, and in place of these put on compassion, kindness and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another, and over all of these put on love. This is the practical effect that the reality of eternal life should have on our lives right now. We ought to live, try to live as Jesus lived, to love as Jesus loved, to pray as Jesus prayed, and to forgive as Jesus forgave, so as to gain the eternal life 
that he has promised. This is what Jesus means in today's gospel when he says, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. This means that if we belong to Jesus, we will hear his voice and follow him. It means that our voice will be like the voice of Jesus. It means that if we live according to his teachings and his example, he in his turn will give us eternal life. This is the good news that we find in today's gospel. It's the good news that Jesus came to bring into the world. It's the good news that we celebrate today in this liturgy. Everyone who sees Jesus and believes in him and follows him will have eternal life.